travel lovers. Hi, so today is Sunday and we're saying hello to you from Kota Kinabalu in Sabah in Borneo. Now, as you can see, it's a rainy day today, but it's okay. We still got a very nice attitudes towards the day and we are exploring Gaia Sunday Market. We are, yeah, and we actually woke up nice and early and we had our famous Roti Talor and Tay Tarik. Our famous. Yeah, because we, <laughs> we love, love it. it. so good. So we started the day off right just to get the energy to walk through this incredible market It's here. huge. Yeah. yeah, from what it seems to me, it's absolutely massive. It's so. like sprawling across many different blocks. Not yeah. just one street. It's yeah. like this, 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 this. So, so uh, why don't we just go and explore and see what this market has to offer. The world's creepiest ice cream van. Can you imagine that rolling down your street? It's like a horror movie, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Run. Such a cute kitten. So cute. Oh, wants some attention as well. I just want someone to buy it. <laughs> if we could, we would. Such a cute face. Looks so grumpy, doesn't it? And look, there are some dogs as well. What, there's dogs? Yeah. My heart is breaking. So cute. So, Justina, how's it going? Yeah, it's really good. Right now we're just sitting in a coffee shop and we're just enjoying our cold and hot drinks. Um, I do have sore throat, so I'm sorry guys if I don't seem to be like myself. Sometimes it's a little bit tiring to teach all week to so many students and then, you know, uh, have fun during weekend, especially when you've been talking every day non-stop. You sound so, raspy. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's exactly how I feel. And I feel like I just need to rest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if uh, any of you um, that are new to our channel, guys, um, we don't do YouTube full time, unfortunately, not yet. Uh, we do have day jobs, online jobs. So I teach um, students English language online. And that is basically Monday to Friday, isn't it? And I'm yeah. working for two jobs. I do italki during the day and my other job that I work for a Chinese company from Beijing, um, that's like an evening job. So I think after we've had our iced lemon tea and we've sorted ourselves out, and we've woken up because we're not morning people, it's still kind of early for us even though it's 1pm. Um, <laughs> We're going to maybe do like a short walk up to the viewpoint, the Signal Observatory hike, I believe it's called. Um, meant to have a nice view of Kota. Where are we? Kinab I keep wanting to say Kota, Kota Maru, Maru all the time. Kota Kinabalu or KK. I'm going to say KK, KK from yeah. now on. So it's Sunday today. There are a few markets going on. So that was the Sunday market down Gaia Street. And then we may be heading towards Central Market, which is huge along the waterfront, selling all sorts of uh, food items mainly, like, uh, like a wet market. Okay, so this is the entrance to get to the tower up here. Don't know how many steps there are. The brave one. Go on, Justina. The reason we're not doing Kota Kinabalu hike up to the mountain is because we can't even do these steps. Can you imagine? Two days of hiking. Woo. We'd love to go and do the hike guys, but we were looking and it's £350 per person. That is an insane amount to do it. But in any case, um, it's just not meant to be guys. We do not have the budget to do the hike this time round. I mean, this hike is okay. Wow. Maybe it's not okay. <laughs> I just looked in front of me and there's about 300 steps. Every single weekend we go out into the nature and do lots and lots of hiking. It's true. Yeah. Burning off the roti that we have every morning. Oh yeah. <laughs>
10 minutes to get up to this viewpoint, which is uh, quite good going for us considering how unfit we are. <laughs> and uh, yeah, really easy and you can look out into the ocean. Uh, did you know guys, there's actually many islands that you can travel to from KK itself. Um, I think that involves like a proper day trip where you go mm -hmm. snorkeling and scuba diving. This activity is free, it was very easy to do and I believe there's also a walking tour at the tourist board here. I'm actually looking directly at it and I think that's a couple of days a week, isn't it, Justina? Yeah, you just have to get yourselves to Saba Tourism Board, which is located right in the city mm -hmm. center. Um, usually turn up for nine o'clock and they're gonna take you around the city. But where we are right now, it's an amazing view because we're able to see the entire KK from a bird's perspective. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like Assassin's Creed. I feel like I want some ice cream, Justina. Yeah, I think it's time. Yeah, let's go get some ice cream and uh, just have another little walk around, see what other free things we can do today. This is the jungle that we walked through to get up here. We started from just there, that little path went in here and up. What did we get? So it's a uh, cannabis coconut ice cream and it's sugar free. And it comes in these very interesting capsules. And you put the huge capsule in a pressing machine and the ice cream just comes out of it. Mm. Give some to our viewers. Yeah? Ready? Here comes everything. <laughs> no, sorry, it's too good. You can't have any. Not even you just need it. like a Moroccan bazaar, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Hello. How are you? <laughs> so we're right now in the middle of the Qata Kinabalu's handicraft, handicraft market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all the items that you can see around me is basically from Qata Kinabalu. Yeah, yeah handcrafted. Saba. Yeah. Saba, yeah. Such a hard worker. Oh, wow. How Oh wow, he's Market. Oh, there's like a little droplet on there. Wait, let me take care of it. One of the questions I wanted to ask you guys at home is what food should we try here, being that we're in KK? Because as you know, we've gone to different states and tried different foods, but here we don't know what food to try. What is local here? For now, we're sitting in the rain, we've got a beer, it's not quite happy hour, or is it happy it hour? It is a happy hour it's right happy now. Hour now. But it's still kind of expensive, but it's because there's a view here and it's just one of those places to go. So after the beer, we actually got super hungry, so we came to Sushi King. We love it all, so whilst we're waiting for your recommendations to come through in the comments, we're just gonna indulge ourselves into all of this. <laughs> so how does Sushi King even work? So you just sit down and you can grab whatever you want that is going on the conveyor and you get charged per plate. So obviously these are different prices. Uh, the highest price is from the purple plate, the cheapest one is the blue. So at the end of the meal they just count your plates and that's it. And so you can like have as many sushis as you want. <laughs> within your or, budget. <laughs> yeah, within the budget. Or if you want you can just simply order from the menu as well. And yeah. we're not sponsored guys. 
We wish, but <laughs> sushi king. <laughs> So yeah, you can order from the menu as well if you want. This plate is going to take us back around 60p and this one is about 80p. So not bad at all guys. So we're just going to keep eating until we're full. And Justina is attacking another plate. Edamame. Edamame, you I'm love that don't you? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is what we like. Touring it, 32 cents. So cheap. Egg mayo roll. Mmm. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> that looks good as well. This looks amazing. Then I'm gonna grab this too. This is it. We are absolutely stuffed. Yes? Yes. Ready for bed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much do you think that's gonna cost us? Um, 16 pounds? 16 pounds? I think less. bill came to nine pounds insane two people and we ate so much for so much sushi nine pounds what is life <laughs> yeah. okay guys we're gonna end the video here it's raining again so there's not much that we can do and we're pretty full so we're gonna go home and enjoy our day off now watch, watch lots netflix. of netflix <laughs> yeah exactly so uh anything else uh no that's it guys if you did enjoy this video please press like on this video it helps us a lot share it with your friends and make sure you leave us lots of comments uh, with your recommendations of what we should try in terms of food and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!